be showing you guys different ways you can make a squeeze toy. The first method is by putting slime into a bottle and you would want a closable bottle for this because if you don't then it will eventually dry out. And then you just cover it with some model magic but model magic tends to crack so I suggest using some type of uh, mold maker. And the second method is um, one that will probably be easier to make. It's not really a squeeze toy, but you just get a jello thing, like one of those Halloween uh, jello eyeballs. I got one that's a brain, and you could probably buy this at a dollar store. I don't have an extra jello thing right now, so I'm not going to show you guys how to make that, but since I already explained it, I'm pretty sure you guys get the point. For the slime method, you could just fill this bottle up and there you have your squeeze toy, or you could decorate it by paint or uh, wrap it with some cardboard kind of like this. I'm gonna be using the mold the slime. You wanna pour in your glue. It could be any type of glue. I got mine at the dollar store. So you could get this at a grocery market probably. And then once you start mixing, it should automatically start becoming stiff. And if your liquid starch mixture is sticky, I suggest adding um, borax and water solution. Borax will make your slime less sticky and you just put in one teaspoon of borax into some warm water and let it dissolve. Okay, so slime, and I'm just gonna add in my color now. You can color with any type of paint. Okay, so slime, and I'm just gonna add in my color. So you wanna insert your slime piece by piece with a toothpick. It might take a while. You wanna leave a little bit of space so when you squeeze it, it will come back inside. going to make the mold. Of course, that's just optional. You could leave it like this. But for this mold maker, you want to get half and half of each. And then you just want to mix the two putties and work with this fast because this dries fast. After you have mixed it thoroughly, you want to mold it around the bottle. And I'm going to create kind of like a ketchup bottle shape, rectangular-ish. Here's how I molded my ketchup bottle. It dried up so fast on me that I didn't really have time to work with it. And you can see that there's a lot of cracks, but that's okay because I'm just going to paint over it with some puffy paint. So now I'm going to add on my details. Sorry I didn't really show how I decorated this, but that's because it was extremely hard. Like you could tell by how messy it turned out. But hopefully you guys did better. And now all you have to do is unscrew the cap. And there you have your homemade squeeze toy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This should never dry out unless if you um, don't cap it. You could always make any type of squeeze toy you want. It doesn't have to be ketchup. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. And also smash that thumbs up button if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!